Before we begin with the actual farming guide, uh, I want to give you my numbers and uh, I want to give you the best uh, I'm going to be explaining myself on why is that location good, why is that location not that good, why is that amazing, why is that not that amazing, but I want to give you my numbers because farming in Dragon's Dogma is kind of weird, the respawn in Dragon's Dogma 2 is kind of weird, at this point no one has really managed to pinpoint what is it that makes enemies to reappear on the map? So first and foremost, this route that I am about to give you, it's worth of 45 days of uh, farming this route. And it's not necessarily that I run the 45 day days, no. I rested 7 days, began the route. 7 days more, began the route. 7 days more, began the route. That until the point that I have managed uh, to get like 45 days of routing this thing, give it or take, because there's also the times that there was night uh, while I was doing my, my routes. Uh, that being said, I'm going to give you the consistency and why you should be farming this. Well, first of all, most experience. Second, you would be farming this for the uh, Worm Crystals, which are used for the endgame gear, to Dragonforge gear as well. So it is not only useful at the endgame, it's also useful at the base game. Second, this is going to be done uh, on base game. It's not going to be done on the endgame world. Uh, the endgame world is a little bit different, but it's somewhat similar. The thing is that the endgame world has some... Uh, Dr uh, dragons on itself, lesser dragons, these are just drakes. But uh, that being said, le let us begin. Uh, we're going to begin our farming just outside of Harp Village, right here. The thing with this guy is that he is very inconsistent. I did not consider this guy to be a good farm for the drakes because uh, also this guy is going to fly away. If you're not able to kill him in fast enough time, this guy is going to fly away. Beyond that, he's not consistent at all. Out of the 45 days or like 6 or 7 routes that I did, this guy was present in like 2 or 3 of them. So sometimes if you stay around in here, if you linger in here, he would come. I'm guessing that it depends on the time of day as well, but in my regular route that I was doing, uh, that I began actually on Venworth, it was actually not consistent at all, and I was I was not able to kill this guy that much often as possible. Now this other one that I have for you right here, this is a very weird one. As a matter of fact, I thought that this guy had disappeared uh, from my game because this footage that I that you're seeing right now it's from the final route that I took. Once that I had done my routes, once that I had planned the video, this was the final route. And out of those 45 days, this is the first time that I've seen this guy again. So I thought that this guy had disappeared from my game. So not consistent at all. I would not recommend for you to come and fight this guy. Now that being said though, the following, the next one, just in front of him, uh, at this location, this is one of my favorites, because this guy has been consistently being there. After the 7 days of resting and beginning the routes, this guy has always been there to our appointments after 7 business days, at all times, waiting for me there, waiting for our appointment, waiting for our date, this guy has always been here. Furthermore than that, uh, you have a uh, harsh uh, hard village real close. You also have the checkpoint rest town real close as well, so that uh, you can plan some farming uh, early game with this guy. And one amazing thing about this dragon is that he doesn't fly away. He's going to remain here for for the entirety of the fight. I'm in love with this guy. This guy is such a huge, huge uh, chat. That being said, the Forgotten Battlefield, I hate this one. This is, like I said, the 45th day, and as you can see, this guy is not here. I killed for the first time, like for the first run, I killed this guy. And beyond that point, he never came back. He said bye-bye, he said adios, he said goodbye, and he never came back. So the one for the Forgotten Battlefield, you might kill him for the first time, but he's not going to come back to you. Uh, not 
uh, that I, I mean at least it didn't for me so yeah there's that the uh, next one that we have right here uh, just entering uh, to the left side or right side depending on <laughs> whether you're looking or not looking at it. once you enter Vatal uh, this guy right here this is very eh, somewhat consistent but he also flies away so he's going to disappear real soon uh, as soon as you get to if you don't pass that like that DPS check he's going to disappear and as a matter of fact for this run as you can see he's not here so I'm guessing that this guy has some kind of like the consistency that the one that has some uh, just outside of uh, Hearth Village I'm guessing that the two of them are similar not always are they going to be here uh, maybe it's dependent on the time of day I sometimes did stay a while in here to see if it showed up like it did for me on the Hearth Village but he didn't so yeah very inconsistent this other bad boy on the other hand this is the very same case as the one that I was telling you before. This one never runs away. This one is always going to stay here for the entirety of the fights. After seven business days, he was he's always going to be here as well. Every time that you make an appointment with this guy, you better be sure that he's going to be here, that you're going to fight, that he's going to roast you, that uh, you're going to slash him, uh, slice him. So yeah, it's it's a nice, beautiful relationship that you have between these guys. Uh, so. That's actually quite nice. Now the one for the Dragon's Red Th Tower, I didn't actually take the time to care about this one. There's a Plague Dragon in here that uh, you need for the Mystic Spear Hand Quest, the Maester skill. I already had that. As for farming, I didn't think that it was going to be that amazing because in my Wrath, for my Wrath, I had to go through here. I already have unlocked this thing. Uh, if you haven't unlocked this thing, you're going to, ha to have to go through here. But uh, since I have already unlocked this thing, this is the next dragon that we have uh, right now. We'll talk about him. But uh, detouring towards this guy, I didn't think that it was a nice idea, so I wouldn't be able to give you consistent numbers. I wasn't able, I wasn't taking care of this guy into consideration. But if you want to co go and kill him, he is in fact in that. Now the one that I was telling you about the beach, this is my favorite of them. Oh, like this is the biggest chat of the dragons this is the goodest boy of the goodest boys of them all this guy is always going to be there uh, at, after the seventh day but also I've had situations where I have rested uh, at the volcanic island camp after the third day and this guy is right here like he's always right here it is kind of a late game area so it kind of makes sense I, I think but uh, he's al always going to be either on the beach or a little bit on the reach of the mountains that's where you're going to find him but uh, like I said I'm guessing that if you want to farm this would be like the best place to do so uh, if you consider that the second one is just right here they are both very close together to one another, although I'm showing to you this path right now because the second one is very annoying to get to. You might be thinking that you can bypass the enemies, like run past the enemies, but the enemies, these little oozes, these little slimes that are, uh, you're seeing on the screen, they are going to kill your crew and then you're going to have to come back for them and as you're reviving them they are going to kill you so you have to pick them up one by one making this a route of first clearing uh, clearing the lava in here and then fighting the dragon that's right here so it is a little bit of a, a problem but the cool thing about this is that he is always going to be consistent as well so that being said now that you know about all of the locations, what is the best possible farming, uh, the fastest method to gain experience to get the worm crystals, I'd say that the volcanic islands. One thing that uh, you can do is rest on the volcanic island. The thing is that it's going to cost you like 2000 gold, but remember that uh, if you sell one worm crystal, like quite literally just one out of the 30-ish, 40-ish, 30 to 40, depending on your luck, you sell around, uh, let's say, six to make it even. Or if you want to break even on the 6,000 that you're going to be resting for the three days, uh, you sell four out of those 40, you steal with uh, 36. So, 
I'm guessing that uh, yes, uh, there is no no home in here. There is no house that you can purchase in the volcanic island camp, neither on the excavation sites. Not that I'm aware of, at the very least. But if you use your, the money that you're going to get from the worm crystals, then uh, this is the ideal farming spot, farming location for worm crystals. Anyways, if you like the content, like and appreciate it, appreciate it. Most of you today, you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You're in the day, gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. Have a lovely, lovely day. And goodbye.